Yeah, well, a couple of things. I don't see Coke productions at this point being viable, and even a lot of people in China will say that. There's only been one Coke production with Hollywood that has been successful internationally as well as in China that I'm familiar with, a big budget one at least, and that is Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Um, the other big films that have been done initially as co-productions, whether it's uh, Transformers 4 or Iron Man 3, in the end decided they could get to China market without being a co-production. And if they did what was needed to do to become a co-production in terms of Chinese cast and uh, Chinese content and crew and so on, then they'd lose a good part of the international market. So they're trying to get the best of both worlds. Uh, almost 70% of co-productions are with Hong Kong. Um, and in the past, at least over 10% were with Taiwan. Uh, so the U.S. co-productions are less than 10%, and a lot of them are small budget ones. The big ones um, have not really done that well, the real co-productions. There have been fake co-productions uh, going back to 2009, 2010, uh, Mummy 3, uh, New Karate Kid, which really were Hollywood films disguised as co-productions because China looked the other way, wanting the international market, so they didn't really insist on uh, what they normally would in a co-production. But once they tightened up, uh, then most co-productions have not done well. Now, the most obvious glaring example of a failure would be Great Wall. Uh, and I could say a lot, I've written some things, and I can say a lot about the Great Wall and why that failed and some of the problematic issues relating to that film. So I don't think it's a co-production thing. What I think will happen more and more um, is Hollywood will make local language productions or be part of local language productions. Even a film like Wolf Warrior II, which I mentioned in the op-ed piece, uh, had a lot of input from Hollywood. The Russo brothers, for example, um, uh, consulted quite a bit. They used their um, a stunt team, a, sp a special effects team. And so you're going to have a lot of synergy between uh, Hollywood in terms of their expertise uh, with Chinese content. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's co-production. Co yeah, co-production is something the Chinese have wanted, and they've certainly made it attractive where you get 40, over 40 percent of the box office instead of 25 percent in a revenue sharing process. But because of what you have to do to be a co-production, it just hasn't been that attractive to them. So I don't see co-productions as, as necessarily the way to go, but I think a combination of different types more and more uh, where uh, uh, Chinese companies will buy into a Hollywood film, like China Film Group, in fact, one of the Fast and Furious 7, I guess it was, they bought about 10% of it, and so they guaranteed that it would get all in, into all the theaters um, because they had a stake in a bigger box office. Mm -hmm. So I think there'll be combinations of various kinds, but co-production does not, if the Chinese continue with what they want in a co-production in terms of Chinese content and so on, um, to try and promote so-called soft power all over the world, telling China's story, uh, this kind of thing, I don't think most of the Hollywood studios, the big, blockbusters who actually want to do that.